uh, <clears throat> hard, tough day. Um, played a good football team. Um, thought it was a really good football game. Uh, we turned it over more than they did. Um, you know, weren't able to uh, to get as many first downs when we got to third down offensively. And uh, I don't know what their yards per carry was, but you know, seemed to get four or five when they were uh, banging it up inside. And uh, so they made a couple more plays than we did. And hard fought game that was a hard for us, hard one for us to swallow. Third down conversions. Um, and just their, with just 80 yards rushing today, or what do you feel is the biggest weakness in the rushing? The rushing yeah, I mean, we, we've got to look at that. You know, I think we think that we're probably uh, uh, want to be balanced um, in terms of you know attempts. Um, so I don't know how many we rushed the ball 33 times and threw it 36. Um, so the balance is, is pretty close. Um, I think we're probably averaging about three yards a carry, and that needs to become, you know, four and five. Um, you know, we got to figure out whether we're better in, in spread sets or, you know, with tight ends, and there's just stuff that we got to continue to get better at. And then just have one more. So Mike's been the leading rusher for two out of six games. Is that something that you're okay with, or you're okay with him taking so many hits? And then as you move forward, just can you expect that to continue? Yeah, we knew going in that, you know, Mike can – can keep you honest um, with his feet. We don't want him to be our um, primary rusher. Uh, you know, we want him to be a, a complimentary rusher, keeping people honest and, you know, getting us to a, a first down, making a play when we need to. So, you know, we want to keep him upright, you know, as much as we can. Well, I feel like we did a good job. We came out strong in the first half. We have to finish. That's all. We just have to finish. Is there anything that they did on? Defense that was a challenge for you guys, or do you feel like you executed the game plan as you'd hoped? Or? Uh, we we executed at points. We had some times where we had mishaps where we didn't execute as well, and those times showed up. Uh, we have to do better on third downs to you know convert those third downs. Um, but I feel like we did a pretty good job executing. We just have to finish. Uh, moving forward, <clears throat> uh, obviously two tough losses. Said the Mac is still up for grabs. I know that's your, still your goal is to, to be in Detroit to, for the Mac championship. What absolutely, from your perspective, has to change in the next couple of weeks? Um, we just have to continue to to work hard, just to keep fighting, you know, um, and make sure that we we finish stronger. You know, we have to finish in those third, fourth quarter, the second half, basically. Um, we just have to, you know, what I'm saying finish. Uh, that's all to it. I mean, mistakes happen. You know, that's just a part of executing. Like I said, we we all made mistakes in that game. Um, the game shouldn't even been that close, but like, like I said, like we all make mistakes and it happened. We just gotta keep keep going, keep fighting. You know, like that happened, but we still almost won the game. You know, if Arthur wasn't an inch away from out of bounds, we would have won that game. And then, uh, so you guys scored for the first score of the game for the first time in six weeks. Um, can you talk about how that? Um, I mean, it really don't change. Football is football. You have to go out there and execute the game plan. Um, no matter if you're up by 21 or you're down by 21, you still have to go out there and execute. And then, um, so you've been the leading rusher in three out of six weeks. Can you talk about what that workload is like for you when you're throwing the ball and your duties as your leading rusher as well? I mean, I don't care. I signed up to play football. If that's what I got to do for the team to win, then that's what I got to do. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's my job to make sure we win. So if I have to do both of those things, you know what I'm saying, on some games, then that's what it takes. That's what it takes, you know. So that's a couple big catches by Blake today. Can you talk about developing him as a tight end as well and feel like you were with Bryson out there? Oh, yeah. Um, having Bryce out there, you know, I always knew he could do it. You know, he always knew he could do it. It's just, you know what I'm saying, getting, it, getting in the groove, you know, give him some touches, and he made some big plays today. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough fight. Uh, Coach Netherwood says every week, every game in the MAC, they're difficult. You got to show up and play. Uh, this one stings. Uh, next week, we'll bounce back, get better. 
what was it uh, that Ball State showed you in the second half that presented, presented some challenges and uh, really made it tough on the defense uh, to contain them? Uh, they did the, the things we expected, the deep ball, uh, play action, deep shots. We just got to be able to cover. Like I said, next week we'll bounce back. We'll see it again at some point in the year. Led the team today with 12 tackles, uh, tackle for loss. Uh, what was kind of the key to, to your vision and uh, being able to have a good performance today? Uh, Coach Nether reminded me that um, I'm from Juco, so he just brought that dog to me again. Like, no one wanted me, so I just came out and showed uh, a true player I am and just tried to go relentless and be the best player I can be. Did you guys feel like you had a pretty good read on their offense throughout I thought, the day? I thought we did. We, were really, we had a really good game plan. Their backfield tendency stood, and um, like I said, it, they just came to play. I know it's a tough question <coughs> to ask, um, but two games now after the bye week that – Maybe have not uh, gone to plan. You're a senior. What's your message uh, to those guys in the locker room that are younger and kind of the team? Is there a sense of urgency or what needs to be done uh, in the coming weeks to, to right the ship? Uh, Jalen Phelps said it well. Just don't panic. It's two games, long season. We're going to bounce back. We'll be good. Like I said, this one stings, but we'll learn from it. We'll get better. It's just two of them. we got a long season to go. Just gotta show up and play. Play the down. Uh, read our keys. Show up. Make the play. And then uh, three out of the last four weeks, you've run 100 yards on the day. Thank you guys against the run specifically. What do you, what do you guys feel is really key for you? We just gotta tackle. A lot of yards after contact. We just gotta show up, tackle, get them down, let everyone else rally. And <coughs> Uh, like I said, we just got to show up and play. They took their shots and they got them. We just got to be prepared for them and execute the game plan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you all sides. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.